does. They see my face on TV so many times that that's what they want. They want to get associated with that person. It's the fame that gets these people. It is not me. It is the fame. Because I've watched females look at me when they didn't know who I was, and I can see it. Nothing. And then as soon as somebody whispered who I was, it's this glare in their eyes. You make yourself want that person, you know? How do you feel about that? I don't understand how people could stand next to you one year, and next year they cannot stand there. They just going crazy screaming. They just can't take it that you're right there. But just last year I was in the same club, walking around lonely like a motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? Couldn't get a date, couldn't get nobody to dance with me. I was too skinny, too something. And now he's just adorable. He's just... That day will come, Akim. First and foremost, I like to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father's only begotten Son, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh by Hashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone, teaching us his truth according to the Bible and her well. <clears throat> now, let's show the one all the sincere Akim throughout the four corners of the earth, pushing the truth through diligence and sincerity and a charity. And now, let's show the one all you sincere followers, believers of Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh. Not just hears of the word, but doers as well. You men, women, and children, are hopefully elect. Shalom. And as you can see, look, look, <laughs> you know, um, this is not really an, an, an importance right now, but this is a prophecy that will come to pass. All right. And just like uh, that demon Tupac was talking about, you know, um, you know, Pretty much back then you didn't want me not now. I'm hot. You're all on me like that Mike Jones All right <clears throat> And the Bible talks about how women are gonna take hold to a man. All right in these last days All right, and um So brothers, you know who, who are deprived of women deprived of that uh that uh that sexual healing <laughs> All right, don't worry about it, man. All right, the Lord's gonna bring um uh, these women in due time so Isaiah 4 and 1 in that day 7 women which is a complete number right maybe maybe 1 maybe 2 all you need or maybe actually 7 maybe 10 however the Lord <coughs> wants to uh, bless you on this side so what you're going to have is going to complete amount alright it says shall take hold of one man saying we will eat our own bread <coughs> and wear our own apparel only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. They, they want to be your wife. All right? <clears throat> they want to be your wife, man. Because they look, it's, you're going to have the power. How can, seven, how can seven women, well, a complete amount of women take hold of one man unless they have the power? Right? And the scriptures say that. All right, in the book of Psalms, was it 110? Thy people shall be willing. <clears throat> Let's get that. Uh, this is Psalms. <clears throat> I started I at started top. 110, it says a Psalm of David. The Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou my right hand until I make thy enemies thy footstool. Right? The Lord's going to make our enemies, all right, up under our, up under our foot, man. And that's a prophecy that's, that's going to happen, all right, ultimately in the kingdom of heaven. It says, verse 2, the Lord shall send the rod of thy strength out of Zion to rule thou in the midst of thy enemies, okay? Here's the point, verse 3, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beauties of the holiness from the womb of the morning. Thou has the dew of thy youth. Right? So our people are going to be willing to what? Submit. Especially that woman. Because a woman is attracted to power. She's attracted to power. Why do you think Esau and the other nations got so many of our women? Because they, they, they're attracted to power, man. And the Lord is going to do a, 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 a turning of the tables. All right? You know, the Israelite man, the so-called Negro, Latino, Native American, wherever he is scattered, the elect, <clears throat> the Lord is going to turn the tables to where, look, we're, we're the prize now. All right? We're the prize. Okay? The Lord's going to give his men power, man. 
And that's what's going to make all the women flock. Especially in these latter days, man. And it starts with Isaiah 33 and 6. The wisdom and knowledge and understanding should be the stability of thy times. Okay? So let's go back. We ain't going to make this long. It's Isaiah 32 and 2. <clears throat> it says, A man should be a hiding place from the wind and a covert from the tempest as rivers of water in a dry place. As a shadow, as a shadow of a great rock in a weary land. So a man's gonna be what? A hiding place. Right? And where are we hiding? We're hiding up under the names. Up under the wings of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So if they're if we're gonna be a hiding place for them, guess what? They go <laughs> it's an order to things. You see? There's an order. Alright, and Apostle Paul goes over that order in the book of Corinthians. You got Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, man and woman. Right? So if we're hiding up under the Lord and we're being protected, where do you think the woman's going to run to? Up under us. And we're going to be a hiding place from what? The destruction. The wind represents destruction, man. And these uh, 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 tempests, right? These storms that's about to come in upon Jacob, upon Israel, according to Jeremiah 30. It's going to be a time of Jacob's trouble. It says rivers of water in a dry place. We're going to be that refresher, man. All right. We're going to be that refresher. And like Tupac said, man, you know, how is it, you know, a year ago in this same club, you know, you wouldn't even look at me. But now that what he he's he's famous, he has the fame. And the, and the Lord said that, man. Uh, uh, where is it at? <clears throat> yeah, this is Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 19. It says, Behold, at that time, I will undo all that afflict thee, and I will save her that hauleth, and giveth and gathereth her that was driven out. And I will give them praise and fame in the land where they have been put to shame. You see? So the Lord is going to do undo all that has afflicted thee. And these nations have afflicted us, man. And he's going to save the elect. All right, the, the elect is being gathered in right now, man. Through what? This word, Amos 9. And 9, this word is the sifter. Okay, it's going to sift the elect out of all nations. Well, we have been scattered. And the Lord said he's going to give us praise and fame. Going back to what uh, uh, Tupac said, you know, but once the fame, once the fame came, that's when they start flocking. You got to understand, you know, <laughs> we at the bottom of the barrel, man. All right. Especially us in this truth, we're despised. But guess what? That's what's going to make this thing even more sweet. Once the Lord turns the table and give his men power. And I will give them praise and fame in every every land where they have been put to shame. And we have been put to shame in all lands. Mainly here in America, man. So let's, yeah, this is going to come to pass. Going back to Habakkuk, the second chapter. Do it, Terry. Wait for it. It shall surely come. It shall not tarry. Shalom.